Hello everyone, this is Sachin Savans, your UK immigration lawyer. Today I am going to talk about uh, skilled worker visa and clawback clauses. So what is a clawback clause? It's a clause that is put in the, in the contract of employment and it would usually, this is quite commonly seen in skilled worker visa applications, home office has been observing usually care homes etc. if they are recruiting employees from outside UK especially where migrants are not aware of most of the employment laws in the UK. They may put some clauses as to if they leave the employment say within the visa period of three years or within six months or whatever that is, if they would restrict their movement rather in other words wanted labor, not allowing them to move employer, change employers, which is a right as per the UK law. You cannot have bonded labor in the UK. So if employers do that, that will definitely lead to, initially you will not get the defined certificate of sponsorship. Uh, if home officer requests for the contract of employment and there is a clause, definitely it will not be approved. If there is a clawback clause, things which are allowed, I will get into that. But mainly if it is restricting employment or there is a penalty clause, you live within one year and you have to pay 10,000 pounds without any specific calculation as to how that 10,000 has been arrived. Usually genuine liquidated damages may be put as a clawback in a contract, uh, but all this is, is tested usually in the employment law tribunals, etc. But mainly this is something that the Home Office would, I will speak mainly from the perspective of immigration law, skilled worker sponsorships, sponsor license compliances, etc. So visa fee is something that can be recovered from the employee if you have paid for it, the UK VI fees. If there is immigration health surcharge that has been paid, that can be recovered. It can be in the contract, it can be before, after joining, whenever. So if that is something that is also for the employee. Lawyer's fees, so our fees, if we are representing either the employer or the employee or both on uh, for the application, then definitely uh, the lawyer's fees can also be recovered. Uh, up to reasonable amounts all of these you will you should definitely be able to main, have to maintain the receipts of all of these and prove it if it comes to that point so if it goes to the tribunal or anything happens in future you should definitely keep evidence of that so writing like something to the effect that you will have to pay back these fees also there should be a reasonableness to that so you can staircase it every six months maybe if they work for six months, you give a credit of 25% of the fees and ask, rec expect recovery of the remaining something, whatever that is, there has to be staircasing. Uh, so it's not that if you paid this and the person is already worked for three years and after that they want to leave, you would, it's highly unlikely you would be able to recover all of it. So definitely staircasing every three months of employment, we will staircase say 10% of these fees. Yeah, it's... Uh, being cancelled or set off against your employment. So that's fine. So but the employee should definitely uh, Have a right to leave employment and go to another employer at any point of time switching employers within UK So they cannot be restricted or leaving the UK with the wish to so there cannot be a penalty clause saying if you leave us You have to play whatever 20,000 pounds 10,000 pounds, etc. without any reason without any calculations no liquidated damages just a penalty clause that's that is not and that i'm not an employment lawyer but definitely that would not be enforceable even in uh, under the employment laws i'm pretty sure on that so uh, for from the skilled worker visa perspective if on the decos request if uh, the contract has been asked by the case working team you have provided reasonable clauses would be accepted that would be fine but anything penalty made unlawfully restricting change of employment uh, penalty putting a penalty on them trying to recover isc isc is something immigration skills charge that is 364 per year for per year of visa for small employers so if you you cannot recover isc that is immigration skills charge the employer has to pay because they are bringing in a migrant so that is the employer's responsibility it cannot be transferred to the employee uh, home office is that they will not be happy with it even on a compliance visit if you are being audited and they do a compliance visit. Uh, this will definitely negatively affect if you are trying to recover the ISC from employee. It may lead to suspension, revocation, etc. So 
this is something i wanted to cover so be careful if you are trying to put any of these clawback clauses usually avoid all this bear the employees cost that is our suggestion but still if you want to recover these things they should be in writing they should be a part of contracts they should be agreed beforehand you cannot just enforce anything that is not in writing and agreed with by both the parties so and don't try to restrict them change of employment if you cannot do that in the uk so if you are bringing someone on skilled worker visa even for employees yeah so be mindful of these clauses even if there is a compliance visit if something like this is seen it will lead to a suspension of the license or a revocation also so important thing to consider for employers who are employing migrants on sponsor licenses bringing them from outside uk or even inside uk if they are sponsoring uh, quite an important point if you do like this video do give a thumbs up click on the notifications bell icon so you will get the notifications for new videos and subscribe to our channel on youtube definitely subscribe yeah this is something usually outside uk applicants are not aware of uh, so they may sign anything and everything just to come to the uk uh, but yeah it, it's a problem for everyone for the employer for the employee home office comes to know this even when it goes to employment tribunal etc everywhere it, it it is a messy area so this cannot be done in the uk you cannot have clawback penalty made clauses yeah other than just trying to recover the fees genuine fees except isc immigration skills charge so that's all i wanted to cover thank you very much